Hey guys, it's Timmy here, and welcome back to another episode of Underdog. And in today's episode, we're going to be going over the Smart Pistol. Now, the Smart Pistol is a very interesting weapon in Titanfall, mostly because the way you use the Smart Pistol is very, very different and very controversial to first-person shooters. So let's get into it. The main thing about the Smart Pistol that's very interesting is the way you use it. It does an automatic lock on two pilots, grunts, specters, grenades, mines, satchel charges, etc. It automatically locks onto things. Now, many people will think that's overpowered because it's basically a gun that aims for you, while at the same time, there are downsides to it. The lock on time is way longer than it is for you to be shot and killed. So, let's get into it and let's talk about it. And I'll show you guys a loadout for the smart pistol. So let's get into it. The damage for the smart pistol is 67. It's a flat 67 damage for the entire range of the smart pistol. Just 67 means three hits to kill, four pilots, inspectors, and grunts. It's only two hits to kill. Very flat damage, really nothing to talk about here. If you put a suppressor on it, it actually won't lower the damage, won't lower the range because it's the same damage and range. I mean, there's really not much to talk about because it's a very flat 67 damage. So that's pretty good. But it's just very flat and it's very simple. The rate of fire for the smart pistol is 480 rounds per minute, which is actually pretty slow when you think about it, but it's not really that slow. I mean, it's the same firing rate as the Hamid P2011 uh, pistol, the uh, other semi automatic handgun that you could have as a secondary in Titanfall so I mean it's fast if you have a trigger finger and you could shoot it but I mean it's nothing too like right home about I mean it's fast if you need it but the main thing is you're gonna be locking on with this weapon so the rate of fire of it just normally shooting is not gonna be a big deal for you now the reload time for the smart pistol is about 1.5 seconds with bullets still in the magazine or the magazine being empty it's a very fast reload, especially if you have the perk that allows you to reload faster in Titanfall. You're going to be reloading fast. I mean, there's really not a big deal with this gun. I mean, it's a pistol, so I mean, you do want to reload fast. So, it's really fast, and you're not going to have to worry about anything. Reloads aren't a big deal with the Smart Pistol. Now, magazine size with the Smart Pistol, 12 rounds. Very simple. You can put extended mags on it. I would not suggest it because that is not what I think the Smart Pistol is useful for for a gun like this and for a loadout like this. So the loadout that I'm talking about for the Smart Pistol is interesting. I honestly do not like the Smart Pistol. I'm probably just, I'm not that great with it. I tried it in the beta. I tried it in the full game. It was such a pain to get this game play for you guys because it's such a hard gun for me to use. Mostly because I'm more just up in your face. I'll use the R101C and I'll get you. I'll aim onto you and just put those bullets into you and you'll go down I mean this gun it's more you have to be more patient and everything I mean if you climb on say if you do a lot of parkour use your cloak and you go onto roofs and you automatically aim from people up there and you get those like three shots that take people out then yeah you're gonna be able to get them but who says that no, someone else is not gonna see you get up there or they're not gonna like turn and see you because they're gonna hear your footsteps or anything so I really don't like the smart pistol. I suggest if you guys want to use it, this is what loadout you should use. There's three attachments for the smart pistol. There's suppressor, there's uh, like an extended mag, and then there's an enhanced targeting system. Basically, enhanced targeting system increases the time it takes to lock on to pilots, grunts, specters, everything. The normal lock on time is one to two seconds to lock onto a pilot, so it is a little bit faster. It's nothing like say double as fast. But it really helps if you need to lock onto people, and that's really the best attachment for it. I mean, suppressor if you want to stay off the mini map, but really the enhanced targeting helps out so much getting those lock ons because that's really the most important thing. And using the smart pistol, I mean, there's really no, I don't really see it as much of like an offensive weapon towards pilots. If you could use it that way, great. Please tell me about how you use it that way. I love to hear that, and I love seeing gameplay of people using it that way. For me, I love using it for attrition and just nailing bots and just getting like those like four four grunt like hits and like lock onto all four grunts at the same time and then just completely destroy all of them or the specters or whatever. That's fun. I mean you could definitely see some parts in the gameplay here where I do that. And that's really just what I think the 
smart pistol is most useful for is just these more team oriented attrition game modes and not really much of like a pilot on pilot gameplay so i hope that makes sense i mean i just really don't like the smart pistol if you like using it enhanced targeting is the way to go that's really the best attachment for the smart pistol and yeah good luck using it so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this episode of underdog don't forget to leave a like favorite subscribe all that stuff and i'll see you guys next time